Day 626. Today there is a lot of news from the Avdiivka direction. Here, Russian forces launched the third wave of the offensive operation. This was not unexpected, because as I mentioned last time, Russian forces have relocated two new brigades for the next wave of attacks, which is around 8,000 troops. And Ukrainians did not just passively wait for the attackers, but rather proactively tried to reduce Russian forces before they even reached the front. The main Russian tactic right now is using overwhelming numbers to secure territorial gains. This way, even by losing 70% of the assault unit, Russians may still have enough troops to storm a position. Under such circumstances, the main Ukrainian tactic is to start destroying Russian assault units as early as possible. Ukrainian fighters from the 24th Brigade released a video showing how they detected and destroyed three armored fighting vehicles that were meant to be used by the newly arrived Russian brigades. Another video shows how Ukrainians destroyed a Russian artillery system, which is extremely important because it is the main method of suppressing fire of Ukrainian defenders. In order to ensure the freedom of use of drones, Ukrainian special force hunted down Russian electronic warfare systems. The video shows the destruction of two such systems. A Ukrainian fighter from the Zero Line reported that Ukrainian drones and artillery are very concentrated on the Krasnogorivka area and claimed that Russian equipment rarely gets past Krasnogorivka. Apart from firing regular shells, Ukrainian artillery fires ram shells for distant mining. And as can be seen from the footage, Russian tanks and armored fighting vehicles continue exploding on mines even by using the previously cleared routes. Russian analysts reported that such situations are not uncommon and confirmed that distant mining of the previously cleared ground presents a huge threat to the Russian assault units. Ukrainian fighters from the 31st Brigade released a video showing how they are targeting the immobilized vehicles and the troops that they carried to ensure that they will not see them in future attacks. Another video shows how Ukrainian assault drone operators are targeting a Russian column that is trying to pass what has already become a graveyard. The last frames of the footage show that the armored fighting vehicle carried a full assault squad. A Ukrainian fighter from the Zero Line said that the destruction of assault units has already become a routine job, because Russians do not even try to use new routes or even change them from time to time. So Ukrainian drone operators and artillery have created several death zones, where Russian assault units get reduced while getting to the contact line. Nonetheless, Russian forces managed to accumulate a critical amount of infantry in the tree lines along the railways and eventually launched an attack with the goal of establishing control over Stopove. Soon, Russian sources claim that Russians managed to enter the settlement and that the control over it is currently being contested. However, Russian success was not only short-lived, but also very tiny. As it turned out, the Russian assault unit got decimated when trying to cross 100 meters to enter the first houses. The remnants of the unit got scattered and tried to hide in the rubble and basements. Ukrainian fighters from the 47th Mechanized Brigade released a video showing how one Bradley entered the outskirts to quickly clear it from the remnants of the Russian assault unit. A Ukrainian drone operator noticed that at least five Russian soldiers hid in the basement. Ukrainians sent there a couple of kamikaze drones and the village was completely cleared. So far, Russian attacks have been repelled. However, this was obviously not the last Russian attempt to enter the village. Ukrainian Tavriz Group of Forces spokesman Oleksandr Shtupun confirmed that Russian forces sharply increased the number and intensity of attacks, which corresponds to the conclusion of many analysts that the third wave of the offensive has started. Unfortunately for Russians, this was also immediately reflected in the number of losses, as over the past day, Russians had 1,130 troops killed and wounded. Even though this figure represents total losses from all fronts, as confirmed by Ukrainian commanders, up to 70% of that figure, which is almost 800 killed and wounded, come just from Avdiivka. According to the latest information, Russians have created 40,000 troops as reserves just for the Avdiivka offensive operation, which has already been ongoing for one month. With the current level of losses, Russians should run out of reserves in less than three months. If you're against the invasion of Ukraine and you want to support the work that I am doing, consider making a purchase in the online store UA Supporter. 
Here you can find a lot of products with Ukrainian symbols to not only show support for this channel, but also for Ukraine. The link to the online store is in the description. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next report.